Hello. Today we're going to talk about operator groups. Now we already talked about configuring operators and we know what privilege sets are. Why would you need an operator group? Let's just take a look at it. Before we look at the groups themselves, let's go ahead and look at the operators. Let's say we've got Bob Williams, Jack Williams, and Steve Williams. They're our test and balance guys. Now, we don't have privilege sets associated with them, but the idea is we're going to have different test and balance guys coming in and out while we're getting all these buildings uh, balanced, okay? So we're going to create a group called test and balance. It's going to have different people flowing in and out of it, and instead of going through each particular person that comes and goes and assigning them system-wide privilege sets, we're simply going to create a group that they can all belong to and we'll associate the privilege sets with that group. So we have our guys here. We have a privilege set. We named test and balance as the privileges that they need. And now we simply go to the operator groups page. And I'm going to create a group called test and balance. And I'm going to add my guys to this particular group. We see the test and balance guys are all there. And we can actually add other groups to this group. So we're not, we're, we're not going to do that, but you can. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to assign that particular group, the system-wide privilege sets, test and balance. Okay. Now what we've essentially done is we've given all three of these guys with one fell swoop that privilege set, and as they leave the job, we can just simply remove them without going through and reconfiguring all these individual operators.